Hi, my name is Andrew. I'm a founder, and initially I started using Microsoft PowerPoint, but since I've added on Stencil, for more views like this, click below. So initially I used Microsoft PowerPoint for like presentations and whatnot, and then I've since added on Stencil for quick graphic designs for social media and other things that can be done a little, uh, much quicker and in a much more like controlled environment as opposed to PowerPoint. Stencil is best for quick graphic design. So it's good, great for social media. You can directly upload to your, any social media platforms you have connected to it. So it just makes it work quick. You can upload images and then edit the, the canvas size and you can just make quick uh, graphics for any social media you might have in a very fast amount of time. PowerPoint is definitely best for doing like large scale presentations or inputting like either like other, you can use the graphics from Stencil within your PowerPoint. It's more of like a broader uh, presentation platform that is good for reaching like larger audiences and presentations that need to be done in longer periods of time, not just like a one slide or a one slide presentation. Uh, I'll, I've been using pre or PowerPoint for a long time, so it's kind of going to be like one of those programs that you've been kind of taught throughout school growing up. So it wasn't actually very hard as it was probably one of the first presentation platforms or, or anything like that, so to speak, that I was able to use. So I was it's pretty much the first one I had to compare it to. And Stencil is actually very easy to use. There's just a very, there's a nice uh, user interface that makes it really easy to upload anything you want and edit it and with a bunch of built-in different features that can make it, everything super easy to do. And you can have a graphic done up in a, as little as like a few minutes if you didn't like. Uh, I'd say the top considerations are definitely you, like how easy it is to use, like the different features. I know some of them restrict you on canvas size editing, which is a huge thing for social media. And price for sure is definitely a thing that plays a large factor as there's so many open source pro or products out there that are competing with the paid ones. So you want to make sure that you're getting good value for your money if you do, in fact, have to buy the software. So definitely you want to make sure that it works well, has good reviews, and it's trusted by other people uh, around the world that you know that you're going to get a good quality product.